Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our a API wrapper Ruby gem series. Last episode, we set up the gem and we installed Faraday so we can make HTTP requests. And we talked a little bit about how we want the gem to function. So this episode, we are going to be actually building out the open struct wrapper objects around our Ruby hash responses. So if you remember in the last episode, we set it up so we can run a request with the uh, Vulture client's Faraday connection. We can make a get request to an API endpoint. We can pass in params or a body, um, and we have to set our authorization header. But Faraday is smart enough to actually take the JSON response and convert it to a Ruby hash for us. So when we call dot body, we're gonna get a Ruby hash back. And this is gonna give me my account information. And that's great. But this is just a Ruby hash, so we'd have to access things using square brackets and strings for the keys. And that is fine, but I want a nicer interface that feels more Ruby-ish. Well, this is where OpenStruct enters the picture. This is a really cool feature of Ruby. Um, you can create an OpenStruct and you can say account, and um, or maybe we'll call it account ID, and we'll say one, two, three, four, and we could say name is Chris Oliver. And we get a open struct back and it takes the hash of arguments and converts them into actual attributes. So we can say account ID on this and just call a method and it's going to give us that back. And we can say name and that all works like you would expect. But 